everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Sephora Favorites Perfect Pout Lip Set. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This set retails for $28, but it's an $83 value. I do wanna read a little bit about this lip set. A curated collection of a lip liner, lip balms, and lipsticks, including full sizes of the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lipstick Balm and Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liner in Fun. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It comes in this plastic pouch. Up at the top, it says Sephora Favorites Perfect Pout Lip Set. It retails for $28 US, $36 Canadian, and it's an $83 US value or $95 Canadian. Here we have a picture of all five products that are included. You get two full-size lip products, a lip balm and a lip liner, and three of them are deluxe sizes. They're 7.10 grams of product or 0.234 ounces. On the back you have a little description. Underneath that you have the name of each product and the list of ingredients and it states where each lip product was made. Let's open this up. Here's what everything looks like inside of the pouch. The first product is from Laneige. This is their lip treatment balm. You get 0.07 ounces or 2 grams of product. On the back it states it has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Korea. On top of the cap there's directions. Underneath that there's a caution. Stop use and consult a doctor if rash occurs. Here's what the inside looks like. Oh, it feels nice and soft. I have no idea why I'm swatching it on the back of my hand. Probably can't even see it on camera. It does feel nice and soft on the back of my hand. This lip balm is scented. It smells like coconut. It smells really yummy. Taking a little bit of product on my fingertip. Here's what the lip balm looks like. I love how the formula feels on my lips. It does have a little bit of a glow to it. It's not shimmer. I'm not sure how to describe it. Let's see if I can find it on Sephora's website. It does say a pearlescent daily lip treatment. That's what it is, a pearlescent glow. A pearlescent daily lip treatment that coats lips in nourishing hydration, visibly smooths lip wrinkles, and boosts the look of lip fullness. I definitely agree with that statement. I will continue to use this lip balm. The next lip product is from NARS. This is their Afterglow Lip Balm in Laguna. This is a deluxe size. It says NARS printed down at the bottom. On the bottom, it says Afterglow Lip Balm. It's in the shade Laguna. It has a 24 month shelf life and it was made in the USA. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Laguna is described as a shimmering bronze with gold shimmer. That shade is gorgeous. Here's what the NARS lip balm looks like. You can't see the shimmer specks on my lips and when I press my lips together, I can't feel any of the grittiness in the shimmer. I do wanna read a little bit about this lip balm. A moisturizing lip balm infused with a blend of antioxidants to condition and protect lips. I like this lip balm as well. This was one of the choices in last year's birthday. I think this was one of the items that I chose as my birthday gift. I'm not too sure, but I remember liking this lip balm. The last select size product is from Clinique. This is their Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. On the bottom, it states you get 0.4 ounces or 1.2 grams of product, and it was made in Belgium. On the other side, you have the barcode printed. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Here's what the shade in Black Honey looks like. That shade is so pretty. Here's what black honey looks like. I never understood the hype around this lipstick, but it is really pretty. I do wanna read a little bit about this lipstick. A universally flattering ultra light lip balm in an iconic shade that anyone can wear because it creates a one of a kind lip look on everyone. The first full size product is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Happy Kiss Lipstick Balm. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. It has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in South Korea. 
The lipstick tube is retractable. I'm not sure if I can push this back down. Yeah, it won't go back down. Don't twist it all the way up, otherwise you will lose a lot of product. Pillow Talk is described as an iconic nudie pink. That is so beautiful. Here's what the Happy Kiss lipstick bomb looks like. This shade is really pretty. I do want to read a little bit about this lipstick balm. A hyaluronic acid infused formula that provides the hydrating power of a balm with the color payoff of a lipstick for a pigmented, dewy lip look. I definitely agree with that statement. The full size of this lipstick balm retails for $34. If you purchase this set, it retails for $28. That's $6 in savings. The last full size product is from Rare Beauty. This is called the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Fun. You get 0.014 ounces or 0.4 grams of product and it was made in Korea and it has a six month shelf life. Fun is described as a neutral mauve. Another gorgeous shade. Here's what the lip liner shade in Fun looks like. This shade is stunning. It comes with a built-in sharpener, which is nice. The full size of the lip liner retails for $15. I do want to read a little bit about this lip liner. A super creamy, waterproof lip liner that glides on like a bomb to define lips in the same 10 rich, made-to-match shades as the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. I've never tried her lip liners before, but I did review all 10 of her lipsticks. I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you're interested. Here's what all five lip products look like swatched on the back of my hand. For $28, I think this lip set is worth it. You get three deluxe size lip products and two full size products. Let me know in the comments down below which lip product was your favorite. My favorite lip product in this set was the lip liner shade in Fun. I adore this shade, it is gorgeous. And I definitely think this will suit all skin tones. I still don't understand the hype behind the shade in Pillow Talk. Even though this is a lipstick bomb, I feel like this shade is just basic. What do you guys think? Is Pillow Talk all hype or do you guys love it? Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on purchasing this set. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.